Hey, welcome to the book of Exodus. Today we're going to get the Red Sea crossing going. We're at Exodus chapter 14, verses 15 to 18. Let's read it and then think. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the sons of Israel to go forward. As for you, lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the sons of Israel shall go through the midst of the sea on dry land. As for me, behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they will go in after them. And I will be honored through Pharaoh and all his army, through his chariots and his horsemen. Then the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord when I am honored through Pharaoh through his chariots and his horsemen. So remember yesterday morning when the Hebrews saw the Egyptian soldiers and chariots coming on? Wow, yeah, they were filled with fear. But you know, I don't believe that Moses was afraid at all. Why not? Why wouldn't he be afraid? Remember that he has followed God's directions implicitly. He has obeyed God's directions Im exactly. And so he's done what God said. Yes, he's kind of in a nook where the whole camp uh, of, of million, perhaps two millions, they're there where they would be easily slaughtered because of the military situation. I don't believe Moses is afraid one bit though because Moses, God told Moses what to do. Moses did what he told him to do. The people have come along and followed and there they are. And when you have followed God, when you have been obedient to his command, you have nothing to fear. You have nothing to fear. So Moses, I don't believe, is afraid one bit. He is ready to go. But many of the people, perhaps, they definitely, well, the text tells us yesterday morning, they're trembling and all afraid. Oh, we should go back to Egypt. Why are we going to die here? Well, you're not going to die here. So the part of God's people here is to obey and watch for God's deliverance. And for you and I, that's often the very identical case, right? Our part is to obey and then watch for God's deliverance. Now, you might have noticed in the latter portion of this reading that the Egyptians are coming after. I mean, you know, they've, they've just, God has given them a pretty strong lesson here. You know, 10 plagues, lots of, lots of destruction, mayhem, lots of death. Uh, and of course, he warned them ahead of time, don't do this because, you know, this will come. And now what? They're, they're still chasing. They're still following. They're still going to be his enemy. Well, you know, it's, you know, that's really a formula for destruction. And, you know, the wicked will destroy themselves. If you make yourself God's enemy and you are determined to be God's enemy, guess what's going to happen to you? He is all powerful. You are not. And so there's a lot of things that are learned by smashing yourself against the wall. And sometimes the last lesson is the hardest one. Here come the Egyptians and they are still opposing God. And how is this going to turn out? Well, we'll watch and see. Let's look tomorrow morning too.